Hi, Paul Thompson from Twang Online Guitar Courses here. And today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on Sally Cinnamon by the Stone Roses, both the electric version and I'm going to do an acoustic version as well for you acoustic players. Don't forget, if you're relatively new to guitar, check out my new online beginner's guitar course. Uh, and why not become part of the, the Twang on, Online Guitar family? Because there's lots of su support and help and support all the way through your learning process. Really unique uh, opportunity. Um, visit the visit the website on uh, on this on this channel uh, and just have a look. You can see exactly what you're learning. And like I said, the, the best thing about it is you'll be joining an online learning community with lots of help and support with with other people. Um, now the reason why I'm doing Cellar Cinnamon as well is because I do find the the tabs uh, on on the uh, on the websites out there slightly misleading in terms of the intro. The rest of them are, are pretty good, but I I. Uh, I play the intro in the open position whereas some of the tabs play it in a different position but it does work well I think it works better with that with that open G string uh, ringing uh, and I think that's the, the the that's my interpretation of it and I do think that works best so here we go without further ado Solid Cinnamon by the Stone Roses okay first and foremost the intro riff then it's around a G major scale, so starting on the open G string there, um, then to the so that's all on the second string. So open G, third finger to third fret, second string, first finger to first fret, open. Second fret, third string, and then we repeat that again. But the second time, we're going to go to an open, open D chord there. So the second time, okay. Then we play the open and first fret on that second string again. To the second fret on the third string, then to a C chord, and then a quick C, back to a D, and that takes us into the verse. So just round that one more time. Okay, now for the for the verse parts, I'm not going to play chords over the verse. I'm going to play uh, a little. There's two licks around the G chord and the, and the C chord. For the acoustic version, I'm just going to strum chords. But for the electric, it sounds sounds really nice um, with with the uh, with the little riff or, or lick accompanying the chords there. So the f uh, the first one is over the G at the at the twelfth fret. So I'm anchoring my first finger to that 12th fret there because it needs to play both the third string and the second string. So 12 to 14. 12th fret on the second string. Back to the 14. Back to 12. And that's 12, uh, 14 back to 12. Back onto that 12th fret on the second string to the... Third, third string there again. Then we're swapping down, moving down to the fifth fret over the C chord now, which is a similar kind of um, similar kind of shape. Again, my first finger's anchored to that uh, fifth fret there. So that's five. That's the fifth fret to the seventh, to the fifth fret on the second string, back to the seventh. Back to the fifth, back to the seventh and hold. Seven again, five, seven, five. Second string, seven, five. Okay, and then we play that again. Back to the C, but this time it's slightly different. So 
So instead of finishing the lick as we did before, I'm holding on that fifth fret. Back to the fourth. And back to the fifth fret on the fourth string. Into the D chord there. And then to complete the chorus there, back to the C. And then we go back into the, into the main riff again, just twice through. Back into another verse. And that's the main, that's the main two licks around those, those verse parts. Okay, solo then now. Uh, and again, it's around that G major scale up at the of the 12th fret. And again, my first thing is going to be anchored to that third and second string. Okay, so slowly. And then I'm going to repeat the 13 to 12 on that string. Then to 14 and 12 on the third string. Back to the 13 on the second string. Then little finger up to the 15th. So 15, 13, 12, 13, 12. Back to my first finger on the third string again there. So again. Okay, acoustic version then. Uh, so I'm going to play the intro riff just exactly the same as the electric, but then for the verses and the choruses, I'm just going to play um, just just chords. So if you play on acoustic, it works better just strumming chords, I find. <clears throat> so intro riff as before. Intro riff as before. Then two bars on G, two bars on C, four times through. D, hold on C, back into the intro riff. Okay, now I'm going to go straight into the bridge here instead of playing the guitar solo. So go straight to D, one bar on D, two bars on D, sorry, two bars on C, and again, hold on C, back into the riff. Right, for the last verse, we're going to play one bar, it shortens the chord sequence. One bar on G, one bar on C. <laughs> Again, to D, to C, and then 
then for the outro, just exactly the same. Yeah, there we have it. What a, what a truly classic song that one is. Uh, thanks for watching once again. Hope you found that useful. Uh, don't forget to check us out on all the social media, Instagram, Facebook, the rest of it. And, and if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel with lots of weekly uh, other tutorials on there. Uh, and have a look at our website for the beginner's course. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time.